Over time, photographs can become stained, and this can be due to insufficient washing at the time of processing, dampness, bad storage, or a simple spill of coffee. Fortunately, removing a stain can be a relatively quick process. Now I've scanned the actual photograph in as a 24-bit color picture, even though the image itself is in black and white. This is because I want to preserve this lovely mount that surrounds the picture and the lovely color in it as well. So before I go any further, I want to duplicate this picture. So we go to Window, Duplicate. This is made an exact copy and I'm just going to reduce this in size and using the scroll wheel I'm just reducing it to a smaller size picture. And this is actually going to be my reference point because we are going to alter the colors in this one to remove the stains. Now as you can see the stains are actually caused through mildew and other dampness. So the best way to remove this is to go to effects, photo effects and we go to black and white film. Now this has converted the entire image into a black and white image. Now to remove colors, say yellow, we just add red to the overall picture. So we'll take the wheel here and we'll push it right over to the red and we've more or less gone to red 97.6. We can probably go to red 100% if we can find it. There we go, red 100%, green hump, zero, blue zero. And you can see that the stains have actually been removed from there and we'll go OK on there and here all the stains have been removed. Okay so the next stage now is I want to bring back this color on my reference file to the overall image. So what I'm going to do is select the selection tool and I'm going to draw a marquee around the bit I want to keep in black and white. And what we'll do we go to edit copy and now we go to edit paste as a new layer now this is just taking this central part here and pasted that as a new layer you can see on the right hand side here this is just a new raster layer so I'm going to deselect everything now selection select none and we're going to highlight the bottom layer which is the background layer and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer so we go to layers new adjustment layer and we're going to select hue and saturation lightness and we'll bring this filter dialog into there now the only bit that's going to be altered is the actual background here so what I'm going to do is select colorize and then we'll increase the saturation now you can see that the color has actually shifted so now all I need to do is just find the right color that matches my reference picture on the left and I think it's roughly about the 38 we can just take the lightness down a fraction saturation maybe up a little bit more and that's made quite a nice clean job of that so we click OK on there I'm going to highlight this layer here again and use the move tool and just reposition that so it's exactly over the top of the original picture and that's quite nice there. I'm going to go back onto this selection I've made and I'm going to use the marquee tool again and I'm just going to select the inside area only here because I'm going to just affect this and now I'm going to create another adjustment layer new adjustment layer, hue and saturation and I'm just going to use the colorize again and I'm going to slightly vary the coloring on this so we can see there I just want a nice subtle maybe red just to give it a little bit of 45 should be quite nice saturation we can increase if we increase the saturation to see exactly what's happening here but somewhere around about the 10 just gives it a nice bit of tonality say so OK and we'll now select none at the top here and there's our finished picture
Thank you.